Hi, Water Signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to my reading. Thank you everyone for being here on my channel. This is going to be a reading sussing out your person's past. All right, so we're going to dig deep here. We're going to see what's what's coming up in their past, what they've been guilty of, what they've done before that maybe they haven't told you or may tell you eventually. Um, so we'll see what comes up there, Water Signs. Um, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to drop a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe and join my lovely little YouTube fam. Otherwise, let's kick off this reading uh, for water signs and see what do you need to know about this person's past. All right, so we're digging up the past here, water signs. Cancer and Aries that have come up so far. Taurus has come up twice. Aries has also come up twice. Okay, strong, strong message of setting something up and then leaving it behind. So what I'm getting here, Water Signs, is this person has a history of maybe promising to start a life with people or even going as far as having kids, setting it up, and then never fulfilling that more. So what I'm picking up is, is that this person, I feel like, sets up maybe a goal or makes a comment or tries to work towards something, but they haven't always um, pulled through with it. There is a lot of messages of family and children, so maybe this is for those people that are dealing with someone who has a family, who has children, etc., or marriage in their life already. Um... It could indicate that this person is quick to leave certain situations. The Fool and the Knight of Wands tells me they enjoy the thought of maybe settling down and having a future and maybe all those exciting prospects. But when it comes to crunch time, they can't actually walk the walk. So this is someone who, you know, maybe can't commit to the kids or can't commit to uh, the family or doesn't want to have a family or sort of, I get like empty promises, maybe here, water signs. So you might be dealing with someone who says they want all these things, but probably really doesn't. Um, or maybe they don't even know themselves what they want because the fool tells me they sort of, they may go into a relationship or in a connection, not realizing how much they hurt other people. Okay. The fool isn't really aware of consequences until they're actually faced with it with the emperor. So it makes me feel like this person goes through connections or has in the past where they've hurt people, uh, and they haven't really understood how they've hurt this person or what they've done. Now, I feel like this person probably has some growing up to do, maybe, or they need to have more life experience to sort of come to that realization. So in essence, you're going to have to be patient for that. We've got the chariot here, which can be cancer attachment and the past. So I'm wondering if there's a past connection around this person. So um, in the past, I feel like this is someone who's gone back to their ex, maybe, or still has lingering feelings or attachments um, to an ex-partner. Um, okay, I also get like financial gain. So there's someone here who has used people in their past for finances. You know, maybe they've used them to um, buy themselves a new car or they've used, you've used someone to get extra money or they've used someone for transportation. There's an element of using resources and not always being thankful and appreciative for those resources and it could indicate that this person has done that in their past now there may for some of you there could be like children involved here like they might have fathered or mothered children that they don't want to tell you about there may have been loss like you know abortions or pregnancy or children that they didn't wish to keep or put up for adoption and you know that's obviously very private and very intimate but there, there's a lot of things about children coming around so and, and pregnancy so i wonder if that's the case here um, there is a, maybe a child somehow involved from an affair or a relationship that they've had in the past that may be coming through in the cards here hangman is some sort of punishment so for some of you this person may have a criminal record there may be some sort of um punishment or outstanding fine or you know cross against their criminal record that they may have that they're not ready to open up with they may be suffering some sort of consequence here with the hangman so in the past they may have lived a very destructive lifestyle or a lifestyle full of crime and impetuous activity and then suddenly it's like okay whoa this person is a bit of a badass like they do this and they do that like you know, they may have that history. It doesn't mean they are that person still. Obviously, if they are, you would see that. 
um, but it could indicate that that's coming up from their past. Uh, very much so. Um, I feel like they also have a past of being quite demanding when it comes to relationships. The Emperor and the Hierophant are both here, as well as the King of Pentacles. So this is someone who... Okay, they know they probably have a lot going on. They could be really attractive. They could be very charming. They just have this like magnetic link that draws the opposite sex or same sex to them. And they sort of take advantage of that maybe, or they have taken advantage of that in the past. Um, they've somehow used it to their, uh, their advantage um, is, is what I'm seeing here. So used for personal gain rather than the relationship gain here. Um, I get money. There's quite a bit of money coming up here. So I don't know if someone's sort of been involved in a relationship purely for money in the past. Okay. It might have been in an exchange of money. It could have been like a someone that just really shouted them and gave them everything financially. So they're like, yeah, I'll stick around. I'm not really in love, but I'll stick around. Um, it could point to several things like that. I also get like they may have had family troubles, like in their past, they may have brought home someone or had someone in their life, but it had like their family maybe were not necessarily approving of the relationship or made them wait. Um, and even though they cared about that person or that connection very deeply, it's almost like it couldn't happen because this family's, uh, this person's family got involved and said, you know, don't be with that person and they're not good for you. And somehow it um, sway the opinion of this person in the past. So I feel like they've been known to leave relationships because of what their family thinks. Now, obviously it's going to come back uh, down to the individual um, and what's best for them rather than what their family thinks because they're entering into the relationship, not their family. You know, it's their future, their present, their happiness that depends on this. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a bit tough and I feel like there's always like outliers to those sorts of situations um, but overall I feel like there is something to do with that family dynamic um, that somehow imp impacted um, this person's past um, or maybe they've been in more superficial relationships relationships because they knew their family wouldn't approve so they sort of went along like the fool like completely oblivious to how much they're going to hurt that person and how much um, that person might be emotionally involved with them. So they could be sort of a bit cutthroat uh, in those areas. So I'll leave it there, Water Signs. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So uh, thank you everyone and uh, all the best. Don't forget to drop a like, uh, share, subscribe, and we shall be connecting very soon. Bye for now.